All right. Peanut butter. So for breakfast, we're doing an organic protein and peanut butter powder smoothie with four bananas frozen, some chia seeds, and two soft bananas. So let's get to it. Yum. I'm really glad Eric decided to try this peanut butter powder in the smoothie the other day because it's fantastic. So, And first thing on my list this morning is cleaning that mess behind me. So yeah, this is kind of what it looks like in the morning for me. I now have 26 subscribers, which is totally awesome. I should probably make sure the house is kind of clean. So, I'm going to get to that. Stay with me. So, it's 50 degrees out, and we're having 60 mile an hour winds. I thought I'd take you outside and let you stand in the greenhouse for a minute and see if we can listen to the sounds of the wind. Let's see here. And those blew open. Sometimes they will get sucked open, so you do have to keep an eye on that. They can get ripped right off. So, and I thought I'd also come out and show you the other night. I started my starts. I got a bunch of garden starts in. I'm starting to draw my map of where I'm going to plot everything in the yard. So we're going to grow some patchouli. I guess it grows like mint. Um some cilantro, I got beets, more patchouli. These are Japanese cucumbers. We're gonna do some point set 76 cucumbers. I'm doing Eric and Ace 55 tomato this year. Last year we did a Golden Jubilee. Uh, we got some Siberian Dwarf Kale, some Swiss Shard, Ruby Red Shard, Honey Rock, I'm gonna try Honey Rock Melon. I started one last year and it got like this big, but it was right before fall because I think I put it in too hot of a spot. So, um, let's see here long purple eggplant and black beauty eggplant. I'm doing two different kinds of eggplant. Um, I've got some regular kale coming up. These are my older ones, I already had started though. So, oh, here's my spinach. I do have a spinach. And I think these, there's something wrong with my two kales that I tried to keep. Because I'll just take this leaf off. Look at this, what's going on here. I don't know what this is. Some sort of blight. Some sort of disease, I think. So, But you can see that popping open. Pulling on those. Yeah, it's pretty bad out. They're just popping right open. Oh, so it's actually pulling this bottom one. This bottom one isn't cocked in. So it looks like we're getting caught on the bottom of that too. Uh-huh. We're gonna have to caulk these in this summer. Well, we're gonna go around and finish caulking all of these in this summer. So that little tiny clasp that it's on right there that doesn't do a whole lot for it, as you can see. Check out those rusty nuts and bolts while you're there. They do not send the stainless water weather through enough. Make sure these are up tight so it doesn't jiggle those balls. Oh, Goliath, are you cold? Are you cold?
All right, it's coming on lunchtime, and I decided to have two things. I'm hungry, and I'm going to have potatoes. So I'm going to make up a ketchup recipe with carrots, cranberries, and pears. So I'll make that, and we've got these noodles we got some lo mein noodles organic lo mein noodles i really like shake them in some curry or some cumin some other spices so and these go and those are going on for a half hour uh, you can't even see that oh there it is 30 minutes so we've got sliced carrots. We're just going to drain them and put them in the Vitamix. Not that part. Cranberry sauce. And pears. White vinegar. Half a cup. Quarter cup of sugar. Using a quarter cup of agave. Actually, we're gonna do. We're only gonna do two and a half tablespoons of salt, and then we'll do to taste after that. Now we need one teaspoon of onion powder. And a quarter teaspoon of allspice. An eighth teaspoon of ground clove. So I don't have an eighth, but we'll just do about a half. And that's that. Ooh, nice ketchup smell. Yum. Tastes like ketchup. Yep, half the salt is just perfect. Mmm, delicious. And I got that off of uh, food.com. Tomato free ketchup, fantastic. Very, very, very good. Let's see if you can see that. There you have it. There's my ketchup. Just give those a stir. This recipe for this is sticky sesame cauliflower from EasyRecipes.com. Here we go. ConnoisseurVeg.com. A little drizzle of this. It's cold, so it's a little gelatin. -y. Fantastic. Just 
gonna go through my garden prep work and figure out where all my plants are gonna go in my garden. And man came home early for lunch, just in time to join me. These almonds probably have this many. Mm -hmm. I'm in freezer. So nice frozen burrito. Uh, of my 10 other composters I currently have, I have two other lifetime composters, and I'm not going to say they're my favorites. Uh, one of them is actually my one of my bottom of the We're list, to look but, at one of those. but they work well, and for the money, you know, you can't go wrong. One of the things that's We're important to me Costco. as a gardener and somebody that composts is having a sufficient... And we're looking for a composter. So we're watching your review, John. Because as much fruit as we eat in the summertime, we should probably be composting. And all the grass clippings and all that stuff. And from the garden. Trouble. Oh, trouble. We got stuff laying about. It's windy. What are you doing? Clyde boy, yep. Yeah, that's my good boy. Sit. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good boy. Yeah. He's a good boy. Yeah. Yeah, and go. Uh-oh, we lost one. Uh oh, one's hanging. Oh, and it's stuck outside. Here you go. Looks like we need to, yeah, we need to tighten that one. Much better. Got my fan kicking up there, blowing nice just fine. Everything's got to keep blowing. It wasn't drying out fast enough last year, so it got moldy. What is this? Where's your spade, baby? In that bucket. What's going on here? Why are these turning black on? Is that sun damage? Looks like it dried out. I think it got too hot. You think it got too hot? Yeah, it's like it. Oh, yeah. Trying to propagate our sewa. Is that the right word? Yes. This was just a Hail Mary at the end of the year. Yeah. And it lived. So I'd like to continue forward with it. It grew a nice little rip ball there. Watch out, Bonnie. Get back. It's 
stand it up instead of have it lay down. It's funny. We just stuck it in the dirt just to see. And it ended up living, so we got a free thua. Now we know we can do this. Could have been in a composter if we got one. Yeah, I pee on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I pee on it. I pee on everything. Yeah, never, never. Yeah. We do have a little strawberry in there. Poster? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because then everything gets and together. Maybe I'll get a composter. Yeah. Maybe I will get one too. Want to go get one? It's like I was saying. Yeah. Like right. I was saying, I'm going to wash my hands. Oh, not right now. Oh. No? Serious? Oh, well, it would be kind of a bitch to put it together out here today, wouldn't it? Let's wait until yeah. the storm's over there. Maybe this weekend we'll go get it. Start posting. Oh, yeah. Are you gonna fall down, kill yourself? Yep. 